If you're promoting or advertising a commercial product or service through electronic communication, you have to comply with the law or face some hefty penalties laid out by the Can Spam Act of 2003. Remember, I'm going to be covering these USA laws, so make sure to research the spam laws in your specific country. Number one, tell readers where the email is coming from. The law focuses on honesty. The from, to, and reply to labels need to tell the recipient where the email comes from. In other words, these fields should contain the person's name or business name sending the email. MailChimp requires this, making it easy for you to comply. Number two, write an honest subject line. Your subject line should reflect what's in your email. You can't be deceptive here. In other words, don't write, claim your $500 gift card in the subject line just to get people to open an email. Number three, recognize you're sending an ad. Acknowledge that the email you send is in fact an ad. This isn't necessary if everyone on your list has given you permission to send emails, of course. I strongly suggest that you get permission from all your subscribers before sending emails. So by this I mean double confirm subscription via a MailChimp signup form. So don't just paste in the emails from another source, such as buying an Excel list of customers in a certain industry. That's a terrible idea. The nice thing about this permission thing is that MailChimp does it by default. So nothing to worry about if you get your subscriber via a MailChimp signup form or page. Number four, give an address. Each email must contain the postal address for the person or business sending the email. It helps to show your business is a credible one and offers another way for your recipients to opt out of your emails if they need to. Again, this is another required feature of MailChimp because they automatically input this at the bottom of all your email campaigns. Number five, every email needs an easy opt out option. Your subscribers must be able to easily opt out or unsubscribe from your messages. You have to give this option to your subscribers in every message you send. At the bottom of your email, you can provide an unsubscribe link. The process should be easy too. This was one of the additions to the spam law in 2008. Again, this is luckily done by default in MailChimp. Number six, honor your opt-outs quickly. If a subscriber wants off your list, you have 10 days to do it. You can't charge any fees for the service, ask for any personal information, or sell that person's contact info to another company. Most email service providers will manage this process for you automatically, which is another plus to using the provider like MailChimp. And finally, number seven, monitor what others do for you. If you hire another company to manage your email list, you will still be held responsible if the company breaks any of these rules. The law is all about using good judgment. We know you've got that since you took this course, but when you set up your next email campaign, it doesn't hurt to check it against the list of rules for spam laws in your country.